The Invasion of France, May 1940. The invasion of France was Hitler's last frontier before he could be able to conquer all of Central Europe, and he succeeded. Hitler sent his troops through the Ardennes forest in Belgium, a move that the Allies would never have anticipated as it was too dense for armour to plough through. The Germans also used blitzkrieg tactics to break through the Maginot Line, which, as you may expect, the Maginot Line wasn't built to withstand. Soon after the initial invasion, the Germans took Paris as the French president signed a surrender and then left the British and French troops with only one escape route, at Dunkirk. The evacuation of Dunkirk, or Operation Dynamo, saw over 300,000 British and French troops escape Nazi-occupied Europe to Britain, while being bombed by Stukas and having the Nazis right on their doorstep. Many French citizens did not like the Nazi occupation of their country, and soon formed French resistance groups in the south. These resistance groups would help to liberate Paris and help out gain intelligence for D-Day. Like what you've learnt? Well, next time we're going to be looking at the Battle of Britain and the machines used in it.